here's another question that was sent to me. The individual has a wall with siding on it and some decorative fascia board supports. And they want to remove them. Do not like the way they look. Time to go. Now, usually you're going to see something like this if the overhang, the distance in the overhang is larger than 16 inches. And um, I think uh, the individual said his was about 20, 24 inches, something like that. And uh, wanted to know how he could resupport it. Now, if we just remove this, the uh, siding supports or patient board supports, we're not going to have a very strong um, eave here or uh, barge fascia board section here however you want to refer to it on your home this will be weak and over time it could sag and would definitely wouldn't uh, want to be walking up on that area hanging christmas lights here's one suggestion you can remove the supports and uh, this is for a truss roof i might as well point that out now not a conventional roof. So this type of system here would work if you have two by four um, top cords or two by four rafters. But uh, if you had two by six rafters, two by eight rafters, you could actually see where you couldn't really use the bottom of it too well because it would be way below the fascia board. So I hope that makes sense. If not, uh, continue watching. Maybe it will in a few minutes. So in this uh, section here I'm using three by fours and they're spaced about three foot on center and they sit on top of a two by four that you could nail into the truss and if you think about it the weight is going to be pushing down on the outside of the fascia board here and this two by four will help to support that. You could always put some two by fours underneath it or some hardware to attach it more securely to the truss. But this will be the key to the repair. Uh, if this pushes this down, it's gonna be putting weight here and then forcing this up. So uh, I don't really know. This could actually be a problem. You might need to go back to uh, two trusses or a few more trusses. I really don't know how much of a problem this would put on this particular truss because keep in mind that these trusses might not be designed to support that type of weight especially if the overhang gets a little larger than um, 18 inches 24 inches something like that so there's another view again here's the ledger support board and the three by fours reason why i'm using three by fours in this particular um, idea or illustration is because a two by four might be well, um, might not have enough structural strength to support it, and I don't know enough about how far a two by four can span on something like this before it is uh, sagging or creating a problem for it uh, structurally. So three by four is one suggestion. In this method, I am using two by fours spacing them a little closer together maybe 8 to uh, 12 inches on center something like that and uh, trying to miss the gable um, studs on the gable truss here um, so it might not be able to just lay them out 12 inches on center might have to do something like this and then of course attaching them to the bottom of the next roof truss so fascia board and uh, the 2x4, using the 2x4 ledger that we nailed to the truss with the um, previous example. And uh, just need to shove it up a little farther. Get it right to the bottom of the 2x4. This example here, they are on edge. We're using lookouts that are on edge. And of course you can put uh, some support boards underneath them. And you could put one on every gable stud for this method. Don't forget that the... Uh, methods I'm providing you with you can always use combinations of them for example the back piece of plywood that we have here uh, that's nailing to the truss so that we can get extra support for the lookouts and attach them so that they don't move I mean you can't have these things move uh, here I have a um, some framing hardware you could always attach it with that if you're going to be um, hit one of the two by fours or the 
um, one of the webbing for the truss, something like that. The uh, any type of framing hardware, joist hanger, something like that might work better than something attached to the back of the um, roof truss here, like this. You know, piece of plywood like this, a one by six should work, could work. And of course, the support boards underneath them, and you could always, these are support boards you could put, even if this was flat, if you nailed it up to the bottom as shown in the previous examples, you can always put a support board here like this also. So like I said, use a, you can use, a, use the sections or parts in these examples um, to create your own idea to come up with something that would work. Remember, these are just examples that uh, might work they might not always work um, for your particular situation especially if the roof overhang is a little longer than 18 inches you could be running into uh, a, a problem um, using any one of these methods depending upon the roof you know if you have a tile roof something that's heavy um, it's, uh, it's going to be it might require a little more um, structural thicker structural components than a two by four or a three by four even if you have a larger overhang and a heavier and you're using heavier roofing materials like tile now you could always if you use a certain method and if the boards were sticking below the fascia board simply install another piece of fascia board underneath it to support the the existing fascia board maybe a two by four or a two by six. And you could always put something behind it. If you didn't want to have a large piece of fascia board on the outside, uh, maybe something uh, looks a little smaller, you could always put a fascia board, a uh, piece of fascia board behind it as shown here. Attach the fascia board. So let's say you have a two by six existing grab another two by six, nail it to the back of the existing fascia board, and then attach this board to the lookouts. And uh, that might provide you with a nice looking, um, nice looking detail, architectural detail, and solve your problem of having these boards um, sticking below the existing fascia board or the outlookers there. Here's uh, one of the details that uh, you could have at the bottom. Simply level off the uh, bottom of the fascia board and have it die into the existing fascia board. That'd look pretty good. And this is what it looks like from the back at the corner. And believe it or not, another long-winded video. You have toughed it through here. I congratulate you. And uh, hopefully this makes sense. If it doesn't, don't forget to leave your comments in the comment area or your questions and uh, or you can email them to me and I will answer them as soon as possible.